Do you want to do the vlog intro with me? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are on episode 5 of Vlogmas, which really doesn't mean anything special to me other than Christmas cheer and extra vlogs for you guys. <laughs> Today I've clearly been doing some Magna Wave at the farm and I've made a giant mess this morning. So I need to do some cleaning up before I Magna Wave Z. And then I wanted to clean tack with you guys today. I got some new saddles this year that take a different cleaner and I kind of wanted to talk about that for a few minutes. You're kind of being a total ham right now. Yeah, you're being a total ham. He's ridiculous. So let's um, muck a couple stalls and do a little bit of cleaning up. Then we'll get Z out for some Magna Wave and then some tack cleaning to wrap up today. A lot on the agenda. Um, even though it's winter and we're a little bit quieter here, I try to stay super busy and keep things nice and tidy. So that is what I'm up to today. Let's get to it. My only complaint about these hay steamers is that there's not a better water reservoir to empty. I feel like it's easy to tip it over and spill the gross steamed water everywhere. Z is still finishing his lunch, so I thought we could talk about tack cleaner stuff for a minute. Recently, I've been chatting with one of my friends about different saddle soaps, and I found that a lot of saddle soaps that people are using uh, contain glycerin, and that's not really the best for all leather products. It kind of depends on the leather. Uh, my friend that I was having this conversation with rides Western and she has some pretty different leather to her tack. Uh, I noticed that the Devaku stuff specifically is like a blend of coconut oil and glycerin. So they have glycerin in it. Um, obviously if they're making this for their saddles that's safe, but I no longer have a Devaku saddle. So I ended up going with a Kenton Masters dressage saddle and then I felt like it's done such good wonders for Z's back that I ended up getting one of their new mono flaps and this is a brand new competition series that they're doing. I was pretty impressed with how nice it was. When I got the saddle though I was talking to my saddle fitter about 
uh, specific products to clean it and she recommended this leather gel which I purchased from her. So this is the Devaku leather soap that I've been using previously. I've also been using this Lord Leather Care stuff before, uh, mostly for my boots. I have used it for tack to really soften things. This stuff is amazing. It's kind of hard to find sometimes, but I highly recommend it, especially for helping break in your riding boots that are a little bit stiff. This is the leather gel that I purchased from my saddle fitter. It is a two in one, so cleans and conditions. So I'm gonna put this on with a sponge and then if I need to buff anything out, I will use like a microfiber, but I'll probably let my tack air dry today. This is my first time using this specific product today. So I figured we'd give it a go together on my new saddle. I'm really pleased with it so far. This is a really funny angle. But let's give it a go. I apologize in advance if the camera is kind of crooked. There's not a lot of great spots to put this camera in in this room like midday when the light's coming in funny. So I have a brand new sponge. I'm just gonna get my sponge damp. The instructions didn't say to wet the sponge but I just figured to soften it. I have not cleaned this saddle at all yet since I got it. This rapid Leather gel says it's made with beeswax. It's from the Netherlands. This leather that makes up this saddle is pretty different than the leather in the Devacoos. The leather in the Devacoos is a lot softer. I don't actually know the names of the leathers specifically, but I do know that my Devacoo saddle was like buffalo and it's not a textured leather. It's also much softer. I haven't ridden in this saddle a ton yet. I've mostly been riding walk trot in my dressage saddle as I've been bringing back Z back to work. This cleaner is nice. It's, um, it's definitely conditioning. It's like really soft, but it's not sticky. The, uh, the Devacoo balm that I've used previously can be a little sticky. And it seems like a little goes a long way with this stuff, which is nice. I don't really spend enough time cleaning my tack, to be completely honest. So, I'm gonna work at being better at it with these new saddles that I have. I just got both of them recently. This saddle is brand new. I've only ridden in it a handful of times, so it's not super dirty yet. I mostly put this stuff on today to condition it. So that's that. I'm gonna put this saddle away. One of my big pet peeves is that I always make sure my saddle's sitting on a half pad and that it's not sitting directly on the saddle rack bars. As you may be able to see, hopefully you can see. Let me change the camera angle. This is what the bars have done to this half pad. This is a foam half pad, so it makes sense that it's dented them in, but just something to be careful of. Make sure you're paying attention to what your saddle's sitting on. Take good care of it. Saddles are expensive. So I love that these Kent Masters have adjustable gullet systems. And the dressage saddle I got has an adjustable knee block, which has been really nice. You can see that this saddle's been ridden in a little bit more than my jump saddle. So I'm gonna clean this one too. I think the hardest part for me in the beginning uh, from switching to a higher end French saddle was that the French saddles are much more comfortable for the rider, but having a hard to fit thoroughbred, I really needed something that I could make sure fit Z and in the long run it was actually more affordable so that was a perk because I didn't have a lot of money to spend on a new saddle. Speaking of saddles, my question of the day today is what stirrup 
leathers are you using? Um, I have found, for the most part, stirrups that I like. I'm still struggling with dressage stirrups, but stirrup leathers have kind of been a battle for me personally. Well, and the stirrups as well. I love my um, jump stirrups that are um, tech stirrups. Those are phenomenal. I'm really happy with them. But um, my dressage stirrups, I think I want to get tech stirrups as well. And I just uh, can't afford to get a pair right now. I will eventually. Or I might go with a MDC like stirrup. So I struggle when I go in my dressage stirrups that my stirrups, like I twist them or I put my foot in crooked. I don't know which one, but one or the other. I like a slightly thicker stirrup leather, but I don't really want to go with those popular, I think they're called Millbrook leathers that are like really thick. I want something that's not going to make marks on my saddle. So I'm, again, on the fence of which route to go with that. You know, stirrups and stirrup leathers are something that I think is really important. I tell everyone at our barn that they should really invest some time into finding stirrups and stirrup leathers that work great for them. Okay, this stuff is really easy because it's two in one and my saddle's pretty new and clean. So it's nice and soft now. And I really like this product. At least it's not like sticky, it's just soft. It seemed to do a good job softening and conditioning the leather. So that's nice. Let's go get Z and see if he's done with lunch and ready for his magna wave. I apologize in advance. I feel like this has been a really chatty vlog, but the last couple of vlogs weren't that chatty, so now you guys are getting chatty, Emily. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know how I feel about this wide angle. I wrapped Z's legs today after I rode just because he seemed a little puffy. You know, the weather changed pretty dramatically and sometimes he also just gets a little puffy in his front legs. So I wrapped his legs today and his back on track wraps for his nap time. Now you get to magnify my sweet boy. I took some before and after photos of his transformation in his body with all the work I've been doing and everything the last couple of months. I'm gonna pop it in here, but I'm pretty blown away at how different he looks and I'm really excited for what we're gonna do for him this next year. so much for watching this vlog and stay tuned in a couple days for the next uh, vlogmas vlog and if you like my channel please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below especially the question of the day see you guys soon bye <laughs>